one is a laptop screen, another one is a portable screen connected directly to the laptop, and then the docking station giving me two more, so four screens. How impressive is that? Hi guys, today we're unboxing a universal docking station. This particular one is from Wavelink. Details are in the description below, including purchasing links for this. Now, let's take a brief look around the packaging. So it comes in a medium-sized box, a picture of the docking station here, some details here. Dual 2K at 60 hertz and single 4K at 30 hertz. Coming down below, a gigabit ethernet port on there. You've got 65 watt PD charging. BC 1.5 fast charging, two times HDMI ports. Now, to highlight, if you wanted two 1080p ports, that's possible, or just a single 4K port. The other one won't be active, in theory. Together with that, you've got four pole audio jack, and it's driver free. So you should just be able to plug it straight into your laptop or computer and should be up and running instantly. Coming around the back on here, we've got a specification with some details here. So also mentions what's in the contents of the box. So let's open it up and see what you get in the packaging. Okay, so you must know the routine by now. I've laid out everything you get in the packaging. So let me quickly go through the items one by one. You get a card showing the website for the company and then support details on the other side. Get a quick start guide and if I open that up, it's all in English and two sides to this. You get a type C to type C cable. Build quality of the cable feels very good and the length of the cable is 90 centimeters. You get a large power adapter output on this is 20 volts, five amps and the cable length on this is 110 centimeters and again, good cable quality on this. You get a power cable for the power adapter and the length of this cable is 130 centimeters, good build quality on there. You can see for yourself, it's a standard cable you'd use on a PC. Let's take a look at the docking station. So in terms of dimensions, it's 6.3 centimeters tall, width is 12.5 and the depth is 10.3. Build-wise, all plasticky build. You can see it's a matte finish all the way around until we come to this area, glossy there, and a small hole there for power indication. Now, coming at the front, you've just got some vents. Vents again there, and coming around the back, you can see the four USB 3 connection points, two HDMI, Ethernet, audio, and the Type-C connection to connect it to your computer. So, a button to power it on and the DC connection point on there. Coming around this side, you can see the locking point on there, and looking underneath, you can see four pads to stop it slipping on the surface. Connecting up the docking station is simple, so I've got another power cable here, which is for the UK. DC connection point goes into the back, just here, and the Type-C connection goes in there and then the other end can be plugged into my PC. Okay, so I've set up my two monitors, as you can see in the background, the docking station's just over here. Coming in close on the docking station, you can see I've plugged in two HDMI cables going into each of the monitors and an ethernet cable plugged into my router. The Type-C connector is not plugged into the computer just yet. Next, if I plug in the docking station, and there's no indicator there, if I press the button at the bottom, blue light comes on, indicating it's on. Let me next plug in the Type-C connector into my laptop. And you can see a drive's opened up, D drive on there. Now it's connected, what we're presented with is an additional drive on our system. So it's appeared as the D drive and it says instant view in there. And if I right click on there, go to properties, you can see there's additional USB storage. So this is storage on the actual docking station and this contains some additional information. So it has eight gig of storage. If I show the content on there, you've got a Mac OS instant view app on there. So this is for a Mac, then you've got PDF instant view quick start guide. Then you've got windows instant view.exe. So this app allows you to connect to your monitors. So if I run the one for Windows, this is what appears, instant view, I'll click connect. And you can see the two monitors have turned on and they're both mirroring on there. Now coming back to my laptop, if I look here, you've got extended display, optional driver installation. So you don't have to go for a driver installation. All it will do is just mirror display, but it's worth installing the driver you get with this so you can extend the display. So if I now click there, say yes to this, install the device software, and the app's disappeared. Now coming here, the app's no longer there. If I right click, display settings, you can see there it's showing one and two. And if I now go down, duplicate desktop on one and two, extend desktop on one and two. If I go there, and this is how you extend it out. So if I now zoom out, 
So there we have it. We've now extended onto the two monitors plus our laptop monitor. So we've actually got three screens going now. And if I now come up on here, so you can see how it's laid out, one, two, and three. And if I click identify, it's how it's identified. So one is over there, two, and then three. So you can lay it out to the order how you're working. So if I put that down there, move that across. So now if I click identify, you can see there, three, two, one. And if I click apply, what that means now, if I move across, I've ended up there. And moving down, I've ended up on the display there. So excellent bit of functionality for a docking station. Nice, you can get it working without a driver install, but if you wanted to extend your displays, you've got to install the driver to get this configuration on there. And it's pretty good if you have a small laptop like I have here, it's great to be able to go dual screen plus the screen on your laptop. Next, looking in advanced display settings, just to confirm, so I can see my three displays there. Display one, obviously, is the laptop, and then display two and three are the monitors. And coming onto display two, you can see the refresh rate is 60 hertz on there. And then looking on display three, 60 hertz again. So good refresh rate for a docking station. Now I've moved things around on my desk and you can see my laptop at the side on the left. Now one of the limiting factors on this laptop, it only has one USB connection point on there. Now having a docking station, the biggest advantage is obviously now I've got four points on there. Now I've put my wireless keyboard and mouse there. They both require dongles. So let me plug them in now. That's plugged in now. So if I now, for instance, go to notepad, type away, and obviously the mouse is working there as well. So expanded the number of USB ports and I've got dual screen on there as well. And now I've got a hard disk over here. If I plug that in, and again, I've still got one more port on there. So three are in use at the moment. Now with the hard disk connected, we've got an additional drive visible on there, full backup. And this is backups of some bits and pieces I've done. We've got a video file in there too. And what I'm going to do, it's actually a 7.8 gig file. I'm going to copy it across onto the desktop. Let's see what the performance is like. That's going pretty quick. Speeds of around 80 megabits per second initially. It's dropped down for a moment. Oh, and it's come back up again. So yeah, it seems to be staying around the 87 megabits per second now. Speed has dropped again, as you can see, and it's come back again. So it fluctuates a little bit from what we can see. That's pretty interesting. It's completed. Performance was pretty good. Now, it was interesting the fact that it actually dropped a couple of times to zero and then it came back again. Now, let's copy that file back onto the drive and see if it's still the same, where you have some performance drops as well. Performance is a little bit different. It seems a bit slower now. So copying onto it, we're getting about 63, 60-ish megabits per second, whereas copying off it was in the 80s. Now that was pretty good, very stable connection. It didn't drop at all. I'm just gonna delete it off my computer and copy it back one more time to see if it does drop again, copying back. Okay, performance wise, it's slightly different this time. So we're getting a consistent about 60 megabits per second on this one not as fast as before. So obviously things are going on in the background and it's reacting to that. Now let's let it complete, see if there's any drops on this one. There you go, that's copied across and a bit more stable this time. So I guess it fluctuates depending on what's going on and what's going through the actual docking station. Now, the next thing I wanted to show, in fact, the laptop is charging now being plugged into docking station. So I've only got one cable plugged in to the laptop, which is the Type-C connector going directly into the docking station. You can see for yourself, it is charging away. So excellent. So no need for additional things to be plugged into your laptop. 
Now just to highlight on the USB ports, I've unplugged everything. There's one fast charge port on there and you can see it by the lightning indicator. The others don't have that. So now just to demonstrate the performance of charging a device, so I've got my Samsung S10 Plus here and I'm gonna charge it via a cable. You can see there on the fast charge port, it's saying 28 minutes until full. And if I unplug that, plug it into the next one, it says one hour, one minute until full. So excellent that it's got a fast charge port on there. Next, just to show the ethernet connectivity on here. So if I come over here, you can see it's connected via a wired connection. And then looking at the status of that wired connection, the speed on there is a gigabit ethernet. Next, I've connected to my NAS server and the share is just over here. I'm gonna try copying that file that I previously copied from my USB drive. And I'm gonna copy that across. That's nearly around eight gig in size. So if I now paste across, see what the performance is like. Pretty good so far, 112 megabits per second. There you go, very good, very stable connection on there. And let's copy over from the server onto my desktop now, see if there's any difference there. Speed seems similar here, so let's leave it to complete. There you go, that's worked and the speed was very stable, stabilizing at around 110 megabits per second. So really impressed, works well. Next, just to demonstrate 4K capability on the docking station. So as you can see, there's two ports and only one of them says 4K on there. So I've got this HDMI connected to my OLED TV, plug that in. Now looking at my laptop, Number one is the laptop screen. Number two is my OLED TV. And now if I click on number two, scroll down, you can see the resolutions there. That's the resolution size for 4K. Going further, advanced display settings. You can see there, refresh rate is 30 Hertz on there. Now coming over to my 4K TV, this is the display off the computer. And if I open up a browser, got YouTube running on here. How cool is that? So you could be working away on one screen and another screen you could be watching something on YouTube. Next thing to demonstrate is the audio on here. So I've got a cable here which can transfer both speaker and microphone on there. And this is from my headphones. Now if I plug that in, I've got my speaker just over here which is connected at the back there via the cable. And now if I just play a video on YouTube, there you go. So excellent, so sound capabilities on this docking station too. So if you wanted to plug in a speaker or a microphone coming off the same headset for instance, it will work well. Next, just to show the capability on a different laptop. So I've got a cable here, it doesn't come in the pack. So it's a type C to USB. My laptop here doesn't have any type C connections on there or Thunderbolt connections on there. So I'm gonna plug this in and see how it reacts to it. And there you go, the drive's appearing on there with the data to start the program up. And what I've done, I've already installed the driver on there and you can see for yourself, three displays are working. Coming over to display settings, if I do identify it, you can see it there, one, three, and two. So you can see three monitors working and looking at the properties for each of the displays. So 1080p on these with 60 Hertz and the next one has the same as well. So it seems to work and it seems to work well. So I didn't expect that. I wasn't too sure how it would react via USB. So they should have really given a USB to type C connector on there. So let's test out 4K with this as well. Okay, so I've connected the docking station to my 4K TV. And just to show, number two is the 4K display coming down there. You can see the resolution selected. And if I now go to advanced display settings, and you can see there, 30 hertz on there. So it always seems to be working the same. And now looking at my TV, you can see for yourself, it seems to be working fine. So I'm surprised they didn't give an additional cable to allow you to do that. So a type C to USB, but you could buy one off Amazon or you can buy an adapter for the type C cable to connect it to a USB connection. So good, it actually works. I'm really surprised at that. 
just to show what's possible from the docking station. So I've got the docking station set up on another desk, dual screens coming off the docking station. My laptop has two type C connection points. So one's going into the docking station and another one's going to a portable monitor. This is from LiPow, which I've also reviewed previously. And now it's enabled me to have four screens with this. Obviously one is a laptop screen, Another one is the portable screen connected directly to the laptop and then the docking station giving me two more. So four screens, how impressive is that? Okay, so you've seen the unboxing and setup of this docking station from Wavelink. Really impressive functionality from here. The fact that you can plug it in directly to your laptop. If your laptop had a Thunderbolt connection on there, it will charge your laptop as well. It's got fast charge capability on there as well. Gigabit Ethernet, dual screen from there so you can get 1080p 60 hertz on there or a single 4k 30 hertz display from there so really impressed by that has audio capability on there so you can plug in a speaker and microphone onto there and I was shocked to see that if you had a cable which was type C to USB you could plug that into another system and it will be working just the same way I'm really surprised that they didn't provide an additional cable to allow you to do that not sure why they didn't but other than that a great device and if you wanted to go multi-screen this is ideal for that so there you go I hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this details are in the description below hang around for the end cards I'll have some more tech playlists check it out hopefully it will give you some more ideas if you're looking to expand your setup or buy additional things for your setup give this video a thumbs up if you've liked it if you haven't liked it drop me a comment let me know what you reckon's wrong with this device thanks for viewing and see you in the next one